take the action that you know you need to take today in order to make that dream a reality. And so if it's talking to someone, like getting a coach or finding someone who can help you amass the team or finding someone who can help you make the plan, or if it's simply putting a date on the calendar, or maybe it's sketching out an agenda, or maybe it's just simply taking whatever ideas that are in your head and getting them out on paper so it feels more real. Whatever you need is your first step. Do it. How are entrepreneurs like us daring bravely to build a stage ditch the sweatpants and step up to the mic? How do we create our own transformative events so we can get our message out into the world in a bigger way that's not only profitable, but it's actually something we can be proud of? That's the question. And the answers are inside this podcast. My name is Sarah Pfeiffer. Welcome to Green Room Central. If you've ever felt like you've hesitated in moving the ball forward on your event dreams, this is for you. Today, we're going to talk about doing it scared so you can get unstuck and into a state of momentum. How many times on your entrepreneurial journey have you done something scared? And I think if I would have asked myself that question like five years ago, I would not have had the self-awareness that things scared me. Other than, I mean, your (laughs) typical snakes and falling from high things and spiders and taxes and (laughs) sleep deprivation and processed food, I would have definitely not had the awareness that not only do things scare me a lot, but also that fear holds me back subconsciously and adjusts my behaviors. And the more I I do the work and I'm using (laughs) air quotes here, is it called, um, you know, the inner work and finding that there are so many layers of crap that I've picked up along the way because of how I was raised about how I've gone through the world and kind of that stuff is layered on top of my identity. And I definitely identify as a person who's not scared a person that's fearless. And so I'm working on doing the work so that I can get back to, you know, like in human design, I'm starting to dabble in that and learn more. And it's getting me very excited. You know, in human design, it's, it's based on around the concept of like, you know, you were placed on this earth with a certain amount of potential. And so I'm working on doing the identity work to get back to that potential that's inside of me and like uncover it, if you will. And as I do a lot of this inner work and I have these realizations, it grows my self-awareness. My therapist would also like me at the same time to be uh, growing my self-compassion. <laughs> I am working on that. Definitely still a, a work in progress. And so all that to say, I've been doing a lot of things scared recently, working with a new coach. I think I mentioned that to you and it's just been pushing me and a a lot and in all the best ways to get more laser focused on what I want and who I am and more laser focused on what actions it really takes to get where I want to go. And doing it scared is not only taking those actions, but also not taking certain actions. And I think I definitely have a complex (laughs) around, or I think I have a complex around releasing my focus from everything because I want to take care of it all. Anybody else like that? (laughs) Have you ever felt like that? I think that's me being codependent. (laughs) But in order to go to the next level, it's necessary to do one thing at a time, to build one bridge at a time. And so that's what I'm doing. And it's scary. So I bring up all of that context for you because I think when we're talking about events, I know that 
you might be scared to host an event and you might be scared because you're not sure who will show up or how many people will show up or if they'll love what you put together for them or you're not sure how much it'll cost or you're not sure if the offer will tank or you're not sure if it's going to totally overwhelm your team or you're not sure if it's going to totally overwhelm you. And I'm here to say that you don't know until you know. And so give it a try. And and if you're anything like me, getting started is the hardest thing. It's it's the hardest thing for me. And I'm what I'm learning about myself is that that getting started piece is a struggle bus. And once I move past that part and I've gotten started, nothing can stop me. I always get it done. And so I would say to you, my encouragement to you is that if it's on your heart to host an event, I have a hunch if we're hanging out here together, it is, (laughs) then take the action that you know you need to take today in order to make that dream a reality. And so if it's talking to someone, like getting a coach or finding someone who can help you amass the team or finding someone who can help you make the plan or if it's simply putting a date on the calendar or maybe it's sketching out an agenda or maybe it's just simply taking whatever ideas that are in your head and getting them out on paper so it feels more real. Whatever you need is your first step. Do it. For me, I like to start with who. As soon as I jot down who is supposed to be in the room, it always feels more real. (laughs) So maybe you want to start there. You know, it's kind of like, you just need one puzzle piece and then another to come together for the rest of the puzzle pieces to fall into place. And that's... That's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope it's been helpful. I I just had this message sitting on my heart and I know I I just knew I wanted to deliver it to you today. So again, I hope it was helpful. I'm glad that you and I got to hang out today. Make it an outstanding week. Take care. Thank you for listening to the Green Room Central podcast. If you loved this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it to Instagram and be sure to tag at Sarah Faithler and let me know why you liked it and what you'd like to hear or who you'd like to hear from in the future. That'll help me know what to create for you. The number one thing I'm asked by CEOs, whether it's their first event or their 20th, is Sarah, how do I get more butts in seats? And so I put together a guide for you. Head over to fillingevents.com for your free copy of 107 Ways to Fill Your Event. I want to help you quickly master event marketing and fill your events, even if you've never done it before. I've scoured the online business world and found 107 of my favorite strategies working right now to fill your next in-person or virtual event. Create the event promotion plan you need from these easy to implement, customizable strategies for free over at fillingevents.com. I appreciate your commitment to leveling up and learning the mindset and strategy of live events. Keep going, keep learning. If you want more, head over to greenroomcentral.com for show notes and all the links from today's episode.